Well, good evening, everyone. We will uh, start here in a minute. I see there's about 17 of you on here on Zoom, and I know that some of you are um, also over on uh, YouTube. So uh, I will uh, go over how to get in some questions here. Uh, I'll introduce Dr. Janet Black, who is joining me tonight, our Chief Academic Officer uh, over in the Academic Affairs Vice President's Office. My name is Jim McCormick. I'm the Vice President of Student Life. And uh, we are just kind of rejoicing today on making Thanksgiving. Uh, we have almost a semester in the books and uh, so happy uh, about that with uh, you students and your sons and daughters. Uh, we uh, are just thrilled that we've been able to, to make it this far. And um, so we wanted to just be available tonight as we started thinking about after Thanksgiving break, uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing uh, to get everybody back on campus um, and then open the floor up for questions mainly. So uh, not expecting a, a very long webinar tonight. We can go as, as long as you need, uh, but I uh, uh, just wanted to make our stays available to, uh, to you guys uh, tonight for that. So, well, it seems fitting to, uh, to ask the Lord to, to be with us tonight and um, to uh, thank him for what he's done um over these these past weeks at ccu so please join me in prayer lord we just uh thank you so much for what you've done on the campus for this fall uh, the safety and health that you've given us and lord the uh, protocols that that we've put in place you have blessed and so uh, we just thank you for all that you've done uh, with the energy that's gone into it with the compliance of the students uh, with the creativity of our academics, uh, Lord, just everything that has uh, come together to get us to this point. And now as we look forward uh, to ending this semester well, we ask that you would journey alongside us, be with us, and, uh, and just see us through these uh, last two and a half weeks. So Lord, we just give you all the glory, honor, and power you deserve. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let me start with just... Um, how we are um, uh, getting people back from Thanksgiving. And then I'll turn it over to Dr. Black, who can uh, talk a little bit about the academic side or, or anything that she wants to talk about in terms of processes. But what we're uh, doing right now, what we're prepared to do is, is really starting Saturday at all of the main desks on campus. Uh, the Rockmont desk for Rockmont residents, the Yetter desk for Yetter residents, the Anschutz Student Center desk for the Peaks and for the Row, and the Prino desk for our commuting students. Uh, we want to check everybody in uh, with a health screening, uh, just like we did for orientation this fall, uh, and give everyone a green wristband that has gone through that health screening. And we're going to ask uh, that only those students who have the green wristbands, uh, attend class Monday and Tuesday of next week, the 30th and the 1st. Um, if you don't have a green wristband, uh, a faculty member will ask you to leave class and get your health check um, before uh, you can go back to class. So if you are currently staying at, at CCU, you're one of the students that stayed over Thanksgiving, you're just gonna go down to your front desk or, or the front desk that I just uh, talked about. If you're in the duplexes or East Campus, you're gonna be in the student center as well. Uh, and you're gonna get your check um, Saturday or, or Sunday. Really, Sunday's the day we're targeting. And then we will be um, in front of Leprino Monday and Tuesday uh, to check any commuting students in um, that did not check in um, on Sunday. And uh, as you go to class on, on Monday, uh, you can check in um, at Leprino and, uh, and head on to class from there. One of the important things that, that uh, uh, I've been asked here lately is, is there any travel restrictions going on? And, and currently there are no travel restrictions. Um, uh, so no matter where you're at, you'll be able to come back in. Now the airlines might have a travel restriction. So if the airlines are saying you must be tested or whatever, that's, that's up to you and, and the airline. But the states are not saying anything right now in terms of uh, you have to quarantine when you get back or you're, if you come from a hotspot or, or whatever. Um, so we're welcoming all our students back uh, after break uh, with a health screening, and then we will um, go from there uh, for the rest of the two and a half weeks. Now, one important thing that we are asking 
is that if you uh, are exposed to a positive person this week um, or have symptoms this week, we're asking you not to come back to campus. We're asking you to stay uh, home and zoom in the rest of the time. And Dr. Black will talk about that process uh, even if you happen to have something late this week. Um, but we uh, are trying to kind of bring everybody back healthy so that we can make these last two and a half weeks. And if you are someone who is not healthy uh, or has been exposed uh, and need to be quarantined or isolated because of that exposure, um, we want you to stay home uh, for, those, for these next two and a half weeks and not come back uh, to our community. So before I turn it over to uh, Dr. Black, um, I will tell you that uh, you can use the chat function here on the Zoom call uh, to ask questions um, or the Q&A function, either way. Um, and if you're on YouTube, uh, you can email me your questions at jimmccormick at ccu.edu. So Jim McCormick, one word, J-I-M-M-C-C-O-R-M-I-C-K at ccu.edu, and I'll pick those up um, off my email. Um, and, but if you have a question, use the Q&A or the chat function here uh, on the Zoom. Dr. Black? Hello, students, um, and hello also to the um, faculty that might be watching or families that might, might be watching as well. Um, I would like to, first of all, take this opportunity to thank you, students. Um, I thank you for participating with us this fall and all the changes that happened. Um, we know that you had to wear masks in class and stay socially distanced inside and outside. And you were restricted from the dormitories for a while. And even then the rest restrictions were partial after the first part of the year. And we just wanna thank you because really it's the efforts that you made and the efforts of student life staff, the efforts of faculty that have allowed us to have in-seat education this fall. It's been really amazing that we were able to stay in-seat. You know, I have colleagues across America who are teaching online, who all the for whom all the classes are online, or many classes are online, and we have this great high flex model that still has hiccups and is still not completely. Um, I'm going to say wonderful for student experience and for faculty experience, but it has enabled us to um, keep you in seat and getting the best learning experience possible. Um, I do hope that you are able to come back and be in seat for the rest of the semester. We know those last two weeks are really crunch weeks. Many of you have final projects to write, final papers to write. You like collaboration. You wanna to go to the writing center. You wanna to go to tutoring. You wanna get ready for your final exams, which will be in that um, middle week in December. Um, we do want you to come back. However, what Jim McCormick just said, I really want you to take to heart. If you're experiencing any symptoms at all that are cold or flu-like, um, and you suspect or you think that you might have COVID or that you've been exposed to somebody and you're not exhibiting symptoms, please, please, please stay home. Please um, just take that personal responsibility to keep your roommates and your friends from having to be quarantined once you get back. Because you all know what that was like. Many of you were in quarantine and out. Some of you in a second time and out. Some of you in a third time and out. And you were great. You were great. You got some meals delivered may maybe, maybe your groceries delivered, um, but you also know how uncomfortable that was and how tiring it was for you. And it was tiring for other people too. So please keep us all safe. If you decide that you want to finish the semester remotely for COVID reasons, let's say you start having symptoms right around this week sometime, or if there's another kind of caution that you want to prepare because of COVID, please fill out that form that has been coming to you several times every week through the student updates um, so that your dean and the other faculty will be able to um, understand and know that you are asking to be a remote learner for the rest of the semester. The other thing I'm gonna ask you to do is I need you to be in good connection with your professors if you're not going to be on campus for your final exams. Um, I will give you some information. There are some um, platforms of learning, for instance, Chromebooks um, that do not have the applications that are accessible to take certain kinds of exams. Not all exams, not everything, but Chromebooks especially we've found to be problematic in the past. You may need to bring a parent's laptop with you when you come back to school. You may need to, if you're at home, um, borrow something for final exams, but stay in close contact with your professors 
so that you don't panic. There's enough work to do just reviewing all of your material, learning everything you need to learn, getting those papers in, getting those projects in without the anxiety of, will I be able to connect with my final? And some final exams are more open-ended where you can connect through different periods of time and others are very time specific. You're expected to open that exam at a certain time and finish within a certain time. So the best thing to do is always stay in close connection with the professors. Um, I'm so glad that you all did such a great job this fall. I'm so happy that we've had in-seat learning. Um, I'm really looking forward to spring semester and even winter term where you're gonna come back on campus. The community that's so important to CCU, the relationships with professors and staff that's so important to you and to us. Thank you for being part of this. Well, thank you, Dr. Black. Again, um, we uh, will open up for questions. Um, not a lot of information to give tonight that hasn't been uh, out in uh, email form um, for students, especially uh, last week. Um, I've got a couple questions brewing. Again, you can email me at jimmccormick at ccu.edu um, or use the Q&A or chat function here um, online. Uh, the first one from Kendall, are students not allowed to come back only if they are exposed this current week or is it last week as well? Kendall, uh, we'd like you to serve out that 14 days. So if you can get 14 days in um, because you were exposed uh, and come back to CCU, then that is fine. So, um, but we'd like you to get 14 days in um, before, you, uh, before you come back uh, to CCU. And if you uh, have any more questions than that, um, you can uh, contact your case manager if you if you've got your case manager involved, that would be your resident director uh, where you live, or Sharon Felker, if you're a commuting student, uh, you can contact either of those and talk a little bit more um, about your case, because there are some nuances, as we know, um, with this uh, uh, virus. And just today, we heard that that quarantine may be going down from 14 uh, to seven or 10 days, but we're not adopting that yet. Uh, from Kathy, uh, with Jeffco in red level status, how has that changed CCU COVID processes? And Kathy, uh, right now, the only thing that's changed at CCU is we've had to cut back our offices um, from 25% to 10%. So our on-campus offices are cutting back staff and uh, most of our activities that we thought we might be able to run with 25 are now cut back to 10. And, and so most of our activities are all going to Zoom uh, for the rest of the semester, uh, most likely. So in terms of classrooms and housing and dining, nothing has changed uh, that we can tell um, at this point. Uh, One so thing that has changed, however, is we may need to reconsider our December graduation reception, which was planned for um, a larger group of 50, and then we replanned it for smaller groups of 25. Um, and if the Jeffco um, order, the red order still stands by mid-December and they may change it back to orange. So we know that things change rapidly, um, but if it stands at red and we're not allowed to have any non-instructional gatherings at all, we likely will make some significant changes in the graduation reception that we do for December grads. Chuck writes, uh... What would be the indications during Christmas break that would indicate you need to move to online only and not return to campus in January? How much of this is a state of Colorado decision and how much is a CCU decision? Well, if you, Chuck, if you saw uh, recently, um, just yesterday, I think the CDC put out a, uh, a kind of a article or, or an opinion that uh, students are best in the classroom and that's what we are trying to do. Uh, so we are fully planning on coming back in January and having a spring semester just like we did in the fall. Um, obviously, if the state of Colorado decided to do a complete shutdown and, and tell us that we could not do that, then we would do that. Um, but uh, how much of it is a CCU decision? 100% on our side in terms of desiring to come back. Um, we uh, have our protocols that seem to have worked this fall. Uh, we, our uh, academic classroom experiences uh, have been uh, very good and the Zoom has worked wonderfully. Uh, so we think we're in a position to replicate what we did this fall uh, next semester. Um, now, there's a whole lot of things that could happen that might change that decision, um, including the state saying you cannot be in school. 
Um, but uh, I don't think anymore um, there uh, people are anxious to shut uh, classrooms down. Uh, I think they understand that in-person learning uh, is the best uh, for students. So uh, we, uh, besides that, um, if we had many, many students uh, contacting us over break that were positive and, and that kind of thing, that would uh, obviously cause us to pause. But we're, uh, we're planning a, a spring semester, um, just like we always have, our academic calendar will remain the same. And uh, we will plow into the spring, uh, asking the Lord to be with our protocols, just like he was uh, this fall. Um, but, you know, the governor uh, uh, comes on every week and does his thing. So uh, we're just praying that the Lord will keep us going in the right direction as he has uh, this fall. Let's see, the CCU plan to stay open during the second semester. Is there any news uh, regarding this topic? I think I just answered that one. Uh, we plan to come back with a rigorous spring semester again. Um, has the Wi-Fi network improved in classrooms if more students have to stay at home and Zoom in? Dr. Black, you wanna talk about that? So the um, technology area is um, then looking at classrooms and monitoring the different loads on the bandwidth um, uh, ongoing. What's really helpful is if any students have any problems, and this is actually not just for classrooms, but even residence halls. If students have any problems with getting kicked off um, the Zoom call, um, there are some things that you can do to help. First of all, you could perhaps just turn off your video and use only audio for a while. Um, another thing that you can do is to mark down the time and where you are so that when your class is over, you report it to, to, to IT. Those reports, very specific reports of where you were and when this happened will help IT then troubleshoot um, what they recognize as maybe um, would be a bandwidth problem. Um, I think that our Wi-Fi has um, had some hiccups this fall. Um, I think many of the hiccups have been not so much in the classrooms, but more so when there are a large group of, of students um, in one specific area of campus zooming in at all, all at the same time. And that tends not to be in classrooms because the people in classrooms generally have their computers closed. Um, it tends to be those students who are on campus other than classrooms. Um, we do have professors who now are a lot more easy with the tech. Um, we have had a great experience with educational technology assistance students who have volunteered, stepped up in a big way to make some of this technology happen so professors can focus on the content and not be watching when students have questions in the chat. Um, that has worked really well. We're asking professors to go ahead and use that system again in the spring. So um, technology issues um, may pose another challenge. Um, we're ready to make adjustments as needed. Any more questions? We are waiting on uh, questions at this point. Um, if you are the uh, son or daughter or an athlete on campus, uh, we are planning to have um, women's and men's basketball season uh, starting here uh, within the week and indoor track uh, will start as well. So no changes there other than no fans um, at any of those. Uh, and a ruling from Colorado today that they do not have to wear a mask during competition, but while on the sideline and on the bench, they will. Uh, but we are planning to, to move ahead with winter sports um, at, at this point, um, albeit on a week by week basis, uh, that's for sure. Um, those athletes are, are being tested once a week during their competition seasons. And uh, so we will move on uh, with that as well. We also have music performances that are going to be ongoing. Um, there's a jazz performance on December 5th. We have our great Christmas um, uh, collation of music that will be performed um, in December as well. Um, those will be virtual performances. Um, and we do ask that if you would like to join in on those just to go to the CCU Music webpage, um, click on the performance and register your attendance. Some of the performances are free. The large Christmas musical will also, or Christmas music performance will have a, um, a small ticket fee, but it, it's a ticket fee per family or per view, not necessarily per um, person attending. 
So there are still robust co-curricular activities in the School of Music as well. I remind everybody that our CCU CARES website uh, has the latest on uh, cases uh, on campus and um, also uh, has this webinar and other webinars uh, on there um, uh, for review as well. Um, Kendall uh, asks, what do the new restrictions mean for clubs on campus? Uh, Kendall, what those will mean is that uh, your gathering will have to be 10 or less um, on campus. Uh, going forward in the last two and a half weeks. And if you have a uh, event for the end of the semester, uh, you're gonna have to do that in some creative ways to keep the, the crowds uh, small uh, going forward. So look for something from uh, uh, campus activities uh, here uh, Monday that will address all clubs um, and your events and activities uh, going forward for the, for the semester. Kathy B asked if there are, is COVID testing available on campus? Yes, we do have COVID testing available on campus. It's by appointment. And we're asking that only symptomatic students be tested. Um, uh, so uh, you can uh, drop a note to the health services office, uh, call the health services office and arrange for that testing. We usually do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, we have about a 36 hour a turnaround to that testing um, and we are doing that uh, for free for students but we have not opened it up for the entire student body just to come get tested anytime they want to that's that's not our purpose for that testing uh, really our purpose for that testing is to try to cut down on quarantines and isolations uh, if we can by getting a negative test coming back it is a pcr test so very uh, highly effective uh, test um, so we're asking only students um, who have symptoms um, that may be something like they're used to in terms of um, uh, a allergy or something like that and want to get a confirmation that it's not COVID. <clears throat> Those are the students that we're, that we're testing um, on campus. And then obviously uh, athletes in season are being tested. That's mandatory uh, from our conference uh, at this point. Other announcements, Dr. Black, while we wait for any last minute questions here? I just wanna say we're really excited to welcome you back. We really do want to see everybody back um, that's possible to come back and um, we look forward to the rest of the semester. I'm really glad that we gave you a Thanksgiving break. You may have friends across the country whose schools have uh, finished all in-person teaching as of the end of November. Um, we are bold, we hear really want those relationships with you. We really want you to be in class. We want that accountability that we know helps young students learn. We also um, love to see you on campus. And so um, in our boldness, we didn't change our academic calendar um, and we really wanna move ahead with safety, with care, with care for you, care for our professors and staff, but also um, trying to prov provide the best learning experience that we know is possible for you. Well, last call for uh, questions. Uh, it wasn't our um, intention to, to have an hour or anything like that tonight. Just wanted to be available to those who wanted to come on and uh, ask some questions. I, I echo Dr. Black's sentiments. Uh, we are just so thankful that the Lord has brought us to this point. And uh, we are uh, just hoping to get back, get through the last two and a half weeks uh, of school and send everybody off to what's hopefully a downward trend in COVID all over the nation uh, over Christmas, and then um, set our sights on a, on a spring semester uh, that we're hoping obviously is a lot different than the fall in many ways. So um, please be in prayer with us for that. Uh, this is something that, that we have uh, been uh, praying about for the last weeks, uh, you know, really since March, um, and it's a constant prayer, uh, obviously, that the Lord will, will just rid us of this virus uh, completely, but that he'll also allow CCU to continue to do uh, what we do um, with the students who, who want to be there. So, uh, and that's what's happened this fall. So, uh, again, uh, if there's something that uh, came up tonight that we didn't answer, please email me at jimmccormick at ccu.edu. Be glad to, to do that. 
Um, if you have any questions about uh, COVID symptoms or being exposed, uh, you can always email me um, or uh, I gave that earlier if uh, your resident director to Sharon Felker if you're a commuter. Other than that, we will see you back this weekend for your health screening and health check and then back in class on Monday to uh, run the last two and a half weeks of the semester. Thank you for being with us. Uh, great to see you and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.